Hey, but we got a lot of stories to cover, and the big one Dave mentioned at Saquon Barkley. You see the big picture behind us here. We're going to show you a lot of uh, fun graphics in our new studios here at CBS Sports HQ. New studios for us, at least. We're usually in another studio for our Fantasy Football Today show, which you can watch every day, Monday through Friday, at noon Eastern. But Saquon, we got a lot of different reports. So there's one Giants beat writer saying 80% he's going to be out there. There's another Giants beat writer saying don't even expect him to play. May not even play him in his own fantasy team. So we have a lot of different situations going on here. And you have Ian Rappaport of the NFL Network saying probably not going to see the full expectation of a workload for Saquon Barkley coming back from last year's ACL tear, taking on a Denver defense that's tough. May not have Bradley Chubb, something to keep in mind as well. But the Giants also have the game Thursday night against the Washington football team. So uh, Heath, I'll start with you. Where do you have Saquon ranked, and how nervous are you about him playing today against the Broncos, playing fully today against the Broncos? I don't think he's going to play fully against the Broncos. I don't think you should start him as your number one running back. If you start him as a low-end number two, I don't think you have to be as nervous because most of the guys in the low-end number two range are part-time running backs anyway. That's kind of what we expect Saquon Barkley to be. I would anticipate the, the nice thing for him is that his touches will skew more towards the passing game, use Devontae Booker to run into the off offensive lineman. And so I like him as a low-end number two, better than guys like Josh Jacobs, Miles Sanders. I would take him over Tyson Williams in full PPR, but behind guys like Miles Gaskin, Mike Davis, and James Robinson. All right, so you see the rankings here. These are our consensus rankings for PPR, and you see Barkley behind Tyson Williams, behind Damian Harris. I have it ranked that way. I don't know about you, Dave. Uh, but behind Chase Edmonds, uh, I would even start personally James White over Saquon in PPR. I just don't know what to expect from him. And look, you drafted him most likely in the second round. But in some cases, he was a first round pick depending on when your drafts took place. It's very difficult to sit one of those players. I hear that. And so really the truth is, unless we tell you Saquon lost a leg and he's not going to play, you're going to use him no matter what we say. But when I see that tweet from Ian Rappaport that says that he's going to play and I quote sparingly, that gets me off of Saquon Barkley. It makes me nervous to trust him and expect him to go out and get 100 total yards and a touchdown. That's out the window. So now what do you expect from him? Does he play half the snaps? Does he play a quarter of the snaps? This is a coaching staff that I don't really like to trust to begin with. And this is a pretty good Denver defense too. I think it's consensus on the desk that we think that the Broncos are going to be a better D this year than they were last year. He's a fab for me, Jamie. Flex at best. Yeah, it's, it's, it's again, it's difficult to bench these guys, especially if you are playing two running backs in the flex, no matter if it's PPR, half PPR, non-PPR. Uh, but clearly Barkley not going to necessarily be the same Saquon Barkley that we saw before the ACL tour early last season. We're hoping that by maybe week three we see that guy. And remember, those are the reports coming into training camp that they may be cautious with him early in the season. So we'll see what the workload is. We're obviously going to talk a lot about Saquon Barkley throughout the course of our three hours here. Guys like Pete Prisco, Jason Lock and Four are going to give you the NFL side of things just based on what they're hearing in terms of what Barkley's workload could be for week number one. Want more of the Fantasy Football Today podcast and nonstop year-round fantasy advice? It's simple. Hit the subscribe button and hang with us all throughout the year.